Let's turn attention to Niger, where the state emergency management agency has confirmed that a death toll from the tanker explosion along the Lapaya Gay Road has risen to 60. Tenemi Bamiyi brings us update. The explosion, which locals attribute to poor road infrastructure, occurred on a road that has reportedly been in disrepair for over 15 years. The Niger State Emergency Management Agency in Sema confirmed that death toll had risen to 60. Residents of this community told TVC News that the condition of the Lapai Agai Road has caused numerous accidents, leading to the loss of lives and property. The road is a vital route for articulated vehicles traveling between northern and western Nigeria. When TVC News visited the scene, another trailer carrying onions had also fallen into a bad portion of the road, further highlighting the dangerous state of the infrastructure. This truck driver was eager to share his frustrations with us. Please, we want justice. This road is our life because we are able to earn a living because of this road, he says. See how we are losing our livelihood and even relations are dying. We need for the federal government and state government together with local government to join hands and help us to repair this road for 70 people here. So they will be shouting help, 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 help. We didn't have any, any vehicle that we will take help them. We just help about uh, eight to ten bar, eight to ten people. This is an example of the truck carrying cattle and people on it before it was caught in the explosion. The truck was stuck in this bad portion of the road already filled with petrol from a falling petrol tanker which ignited the fire. 24 hours after the explosion, there's still fire on the wreckage of the tanker that was carrying fuel which led to the explosion. And right here is the mass burial site where 48 persons were buried yesterday. As of today, the death toll has risen to 59. And over there, you could see that an excavator is digging the ground, making space for the animals that were burnt to be buried. There's quite a huge stench here. You could hardly breathe if you go close to that place. But the conversation is still this road that has been in a state of disrepair for over 15 years. The people in the community say this is not the first time that such incidents will happen. It's just that the scale and the magnitude this time was higher. They're calling on the federal government to expedite action in ensuring that this road is fixed to avoid further loss of lives. Chenemi Bamiyi, TVC News, Lapai Agaye Road. Now, President Bolatinobu has sent his condolences to the victims uh, and the Niger state government. In a statement by the Special Advisor to the President on Information and Strategy, Bayo Nonuga, President Nubu pledged support for those affected. He also directed relevant federal agencies to collaborate with state governments to improve road safety and infrastructure across the country. Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, has also condoled the government and people of Niger State over the sad incident, praying that God grant their families the strength and fortitude at this trying time.